Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 25. So we are in the two grass fields, not at the same time obviously. We're in the first one, the bigger one, down at the store, and I'm making some pretty big swaths of grass. Uh, this is because the field was fully fertilized, we did get the two applications on, and I think I did do lime as well. So really it is almost as good as it gets. Um, now I must just say, I think the, the swaths of, of, of grass and straw, they do seem to be, at this stage, worse, in my opinion, than in FS22. Uh, just being totally honest, everybody's entitled to an opinion. I don't know what it is about them, they seem to keep vanishing. Like, you can see them sort of coming and going, and they're very... Well, this piece is missing, and I really don't understand it at all. Uh, also, the scenery does flicker quite a bit. So, um... No, like, like I've always said, I'm, I always try and be as honest as possible. Um, I'm never going to try and sugarcoat anything. Yes, I did get early access to the game, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to try and cover up issues the game has or bad things about the game. Um, but having said this, at the same time, I really do like the game. I think it is brilliant, and certainly from what I've seen so far of the PC version that I'm playing on the ultra graphics setting, I do prefer it over 22. Um, Having said this, yes, mods will make it a lot better, definitely, and it would be very nice to see some of these issues ironed out. I've heard from other people who play on console, and they say they're a bit disappointed with the 30 frames per second. Um, I've not seen it myself because I don't, I don't play on console, and I don't know anybody who plays on console uh, personally, so I haven't actually seen them playing it. But yes, if that is you know a major issue, then it's something that you really want to be taking up with giants, I would say. Um, as I am only a PC gamer, I, I really, I, I really, I can't say, but I do prefer 60 frames per second, certainly, as you can see. So, yeah, uh, big fan of Giants, big supporter of Giants, but at the same time, um, if something needs to be improved, then I do think that they should at least attempt to improve it. And I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are improving things as we speak. But there you go. There you go. You see the the, the, uh, the, the hay swath over there disappear? And then it came back? Very strange. But, yeah, hopefully that is going to be patched very soon. Right, so let us get this field done and then we'll go over to the other field and then it'll be time to bail and wrap. Yeah, we've got some seriously decent swaths of grass there. So yeah, they need to be wrapped. Did I say hay before? Maybe I did. I meant I meant grass. This is grass. We didn't get the time to do tedding, because uh, it is November, but it's actually a good thing. We don't need any more hay at the moment, and actually we don't need any more silage, so we're probably just going to sell what we already have. That would make a lot of sense. Anyway, I will return that windrower in a minute. We still need to get the, uh, the new seed drill back as well. Yes, we have our baby water buffalo here in the field, and the uh, the placeable pastures or the dynamic pastures are really for spring, summer, and autumn. And in the winter time, they're supposed to go inside. I don't actually know what the repercussions are of leaving them out in the game would be over winter. Would it just be that they don't get the meadow grass anymore? Maybe. If that is the case, then we are feeding them anyway with silage and hay. So. Maybe that is not a problem. Or do they die? It would be very sad, but maybe that is a possibility. Maybe they disappear. Um, yeah, also their water. Their water is empty. So they do certainly need quite a bit of attention. And really, they're supposed to be moving out of here now to go into an internal building. But we can't afford it. And this is a major problem. The only other thing we could do is take out an absolutely gigantic loan and build that building. 
but I would like to just try and and it, they really should be inside I know but maybe because it is just a game we should just keep feeding them and hope that they will be perfectly fine outside after all I don't know how cold it actually gets here I suppose it was snowing wasn't it so that's not ideal yeah they should go inside but before we do the grass we will just give them water because clearly that is necessary and then they're going to have to have some silage they could have hay but I think as we have more silage than hay we'll give them silage so into the menu hang on which menu still getting used to this because we don't we, yeah we don't have the menu for um, least items anymore but it is this one here return yes and I need the water tanker so the water tanker is just over here one day we might have a full pallet of honey. Yes, that is the same pallet that we started off with. <laughs> it is incredibly slow. We do only have one beehive, but yes, it is absolutely crazy how long it has taken to fill that. We're on year five, we're actually almost on year six. And it's the same first pallet of honey. Oh no! My water has dried up. Well, we'll get that filled up again. Tonight, I drive a tractor into a puddle. It's even left rut. 8,000 litres, yeah, it really has left some ruts. You see, things like that, that is a really, really nice addition to the game. And the dynamic pastures, that is an absolutely wonderful addition to the game. I really do like it, and I'm not just saying I really do like this game. I'm absolutely addicted to it. You can probably tell. Right, well, I'm not in the trigger. We will try that again. There we go. So yes, we'll make sure they have all the water and all the food they require. And we'll hope for the best. I, I, I'm not just doing this because I can't be bothered to move them. I literally cannot afford to move them to a shed as much as I want to. So we're gonna pamper them in their field instead. Okay, we'll pop this back, we'll get the telehandler, we'll give them a bale or two of silage, and then we will bale and wrap the grass. This has been a bumper crop. Absolutely brilliant. We are using the smallest size bale here because we have to. It's the only size that this baler will produce. But even so, 
That's a lot of bales. We have done very well. It just goes to show that putting the fertiliser on is worth it. So I'm going to be renting an auto stacker, and the reason for this is not just because I want to clear these fields, it's also because I want to quickly load up the bells that we have already, because obviously these still need to ferment. These are actually grass bells. They will be uh, probably two months before they're actually silage bells, but the silage bells that we have, yeah, they're currently priced at their best today. So we want to get them sold. Also, my trailer is currently taken up with the straw bales. I could unload them. I will be unloading them at some point, but yes, it is totally full. Um, and I want to just try out the auto stacker. But that is not the main reason. The main reason is just for speediness. And actually, it'll probably still take a while to do all of this. We're going to sell the existing silage bales first. The ones which have already fermented. Ah, oh, I didn't reset the bale counter again, did I? That's annoying. We can, however, look in the statistics menu and we can get the exact figure from there. Also, I am running the round bale extension mod, which is a brilliant mod, um, which basically allows me to just stick it onto cruise control. The tractor will slow down at, what is it, 90%? Maybe 95%? Let's just watch. It's going to be really bad timing, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. We'll just turn. Yep, so 90%. The tractor's speed reduces to 5 miles per hour. And then it stops itself at 100%, obviously. Does its thing, and then resumes. All I have to do is steer. A very good mod, links down below. The other mod, actually, which is in play here, is the rounder bales mod. So when we wrap them, they do look much rounder on the edges rather than just a flat like a 90 degree almost angle. Okay, right, well, we're not going to quite have enough to finish the last bale, but not to worry. We've still done extremely well just there. Although, actually, having said that, yes, having said that, I do have another mod installed. <laughs> uh, unload unfinished bale. Press O. So yes, I can unload it. It's only 2,247 litres, 64% full, but I can unload it. Definitely worth having, and it's definitely, definitely worth having for the round cotton bale harvester um, because with that one you can't unload it when it's partially finished you always can do even in the vanilla game with the square one with, with the K I think it's a case so um, yeah always worth getting that mod again the link is down below okay let's head back to the farm and then we'll come back here we'll do the auto stacking it's gonna be quite a bit of shuttle runs and then eventually once we are actually uh, down here without something on the back, we can attach to the seed drill and we can bring our seed drill home. It is ours. I did buy it in the sale. It was totally unexpected, but I'm very pleased that I managed to get it. Ah, fog's really moving in. One thing is for sure. Uh, yeah, this is quite a foggy area. We do experience a lot of fog. There's Dave. Yes, yeah, so by the time this video goes out, I would have thought I will have put out a vote for future horse names. And not only will the winning one be chosen, but also probably the top several in the vote. So there's more than one winner. It's just the number one will be the first name that we obviously go for, for the horses. Um, after Dave, of course. Yeah, we've already got Dave. Yes, back to the store. I hope we can afford it. It is 50,000 to buy and it is two and a half thousand to rent. Well, I think it's gonna be two and a half thousand pounds well spent. We should be able to get it all done within the hour so we shouldn't incur another daily or hourly, hourly fee. <laughs> what am I on about? Yeah, although it would be daily if we uh, obviously pass through to the next month. And it's the daily fees really which you've gotta be careful because if you do just not really think clearly and you think oh, I'll just finish that job tomorrow well you are going to get that daily fee you wouldn't get the hourly fee unless you of course you do get to that one hour of use you don't just pay hourly even if it's just sat in a shed that's what the daily fee is for so yeah I'm gonna take a full load but it's absolutely pointless not taking a full load but then then we will get the other ones shifted because I don't actually know for certain that all these are going to fit perfectly into that shed. It is a big shed, but I do also need to put the straw bales in there as well. So, um, yes, I do need to just do a bit of careful planning. 
and I can't block in the hay bales. So we sort of need three, three different bale types side by side. Which is another reason why this is going to be handy, because this is pre-stacking and it will just slide them off the back. Although, yes, we do have the, uh, the arm here, which is picking up and that does need to be unfolded. It needs to be down when we unload. And that is going to prevent us from putting it in on the left hand side of the shed. So that's going to be interesting. It sort of means that we are going to have to put these in the middle. But I think we'll just tackle that obstacle when we get to it. Because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it might not be an issue at all. I just saw a reflection off the plastic wrap, that's amazing. So even light sources, that, which aren't actual light, do reflect the sun. Not where they reflect light, I should say, it reflects the sun. Um, so something which isn't a light source, a primary light source, will reflect a primary light source. And these are all these more discrete improvements. Are we full? Nope, not yet. We're almost full. It's going to work out pretty badly because we're not going to quite fit them all on. We have done well though. Need to get that grand total. Although, yeah, the auto stack is a way of counting. It is counting it for us. Oh, it's going to leave one, isn't it? That is so typical. So we had 25 in this field here. <laughs> that is typical. Uh, statistics. Okay, so Bell's produced 35. So we've got 10 in the other field. 25 in this one, 10 in the other. Sounds about right, really. And look at that, that is fully loaded. Looks spectacular. Speed and power is the trick to this one. We do need a bigger tractor. One of the many things we're still saving up for, but at least we can cross off seed drill from the list of things that we really need. Right, so we need to get that trailer shifted. Um, it's a very, very good job for the telehandler because it's quite tight in there. And I actually did put it in there with the telehandler in the first place. We also probably do have more pallets of wood, wooden products over here that need to be sold. Of course, I do just keep taking them to the temple, but I don't want to hit their limits. Need to make sure we're actually getting paid for every single one that we take there because they're not going to want everything. <laughs> I've already given them so much stuff. And if I just keep going, there is a chance, it might have already happened in fact, that they are not actually going to pay us. They'll take it, but they won't pay us because they don't want it. I hope that hasn't happened because otherwise I have thrown money down the drain. Mm, I'll have to, uh, well, next time we take a load, we'll have to do a test. I will save the game, sell some, and then make sure that everything went. All right, okay, so yeah, this does need to be unloaded into there. I'll probably do that in a minute as a time lapse. We'll just sort out the silage first. Put this trailer here. Make sure we can still get the tractor in. So, yes, the tractor. As mentioned, we do need to have this in the middle because we've got that arm and that is just going to smash into the wall if I put it over onto the left hand side. So we can't be having that. So it's going to have to be Silage in the middle. Hay on the right. Straw on the left. And the more central I can get it, the better. I need to utilise every bit of space. Probably back up all the way and then pull forward. Oh, and even crash through the back wall. Why not? We might as well. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is where it's going to start pushing backwards. I sort of need to let it just push as it goes because I think if it's going to push against the back wall the bales will go flying so we'll release the handbrake gradually shift forwards and there we go what a neat stack my haystacking actually wasn't too bad. I did this with the telehandler. 
It's not bad. Uh, not as good as that, of course. And then straw can go in here. Next load of silage will have to go in front of this load of silage. But it's going to be so good. It's going to, I, I just love doing this. I love having all three products. It's just nice to be able to see our stock. See everything that we have in stock. Um, and it will be easier as well to know exactly what we need. What do we need more of? Do, do we do the next load of grass as hay or do we do it as silage? Much, much easier to be able to determine things like that. Okay, so we are going to have... Oh, it's so annoying. We're going to have to go down to the other field to pick up one bale. It does seem ridiculous, but then I suppose if you put it into perspective, if we were to buy a bale, it might be a £1,000. So is it worth driving over there for a £1,000? Yes, it certainly is. I don't actually know how much a... How much is it? I, I really should check, because I know in previous versions of the game, they've been extremely expensive. Oh my goodness. They're the same capacity as well. 3,500 litres. £2,094. That is just... <laughs> it's absolutely mind-blowing. So yeah, I can never grumble that I need to drive all the way, in inverted commas, down there um, for one bell. It's worth over £2,000. But on, on the surface, you just think, it's just one bale. Nope, it's more than one bale. It's over £2,000 worth of food. Not to sell. We would never get that if we sold it, I don't think. Uh, although it would be interesting to see, because the price is at its best currently. I think it would be like 1200 if we were to sell at the best time. Right, let's go and get the expensive bale. Ah, it was worth it. It was worth the two minute trip. Into the shed they go. And yes, into the shed to ferment, because they are still just grass bales currently. I now actually need to be even more careful about staying straight in line with this and making sure I don't smash into those other bales because it's just going to ruin everything. It looks so bad. And yeah, although the bales will still be in the shed, all right, it's just going to look bad and I won't be able to have as much pride in my work anymore. I have to pick them all up again and redo it. Not to mention how I'm sure it would annoy some people who are watching. Like, there's nothing worse than when something looks good and then it gets ruined and it looks terrible. I'm going to stay here. I don't think they're going to align, but it's not... Oh no, they're wiggling. As soon as it touches those other bells, yep. Shift forwards. And hopefully... Hope that looks good. Pretty seamless, really. Not bad. Well, if that does it for you, please do like the video. Or dislike it if it really isn't good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, so here we go. I think we might need a telehandler to assist with this, just to just to get them out of there. Uh, Walter could always help. He's always just stood there. He has spent five years currently stood there watching us. And if you if you're thinking, oh, he's he's just there taking in the fresh air. Look, watch, watch his head. Look, he's looking this way. He's still looking at us. I know you've retired, but still, how can you stand there every day, all day, for five years? That would even kill my legs. One more. Perfect. So, I know we've spent so long now, it might not even be the best price anymore, but we'll have a look and we'll see what prices we are currently offered. Uh, so, S for silage. There it is. 361, that sounds like a good price. 369 is really where the peak is, but that's August. Um, so it's still very, very good. That's over at the animal dealer, so I know where that is. Let's go. We shouldn't need any more silage for the uh, the water buffalo before that new silage is ready. So we should be okay just to get rid of all of this. I wonder how much money we'll make from it. If it's appalling, if it's really, really bad, we would never sell any more. We'll just keep it. Hoping for a fairly good cash injection. Of course, I could have just done the calculation. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. That's worth it. So, we're up to almost £30,000 again. This was really needed. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so let's get this taken back over to the dealership and we will return it and then we'll tow our sea drill back up to the farm. Just quickly deviating. Yeah, the uh, different materials which we are producing are still there. The temple is still listed, so I think uh, we'll be okay taking our wooden products to there. Because it's a big pay part of our payments, the, uh, the planks and the beams. That's where a lot of our money comes from, so it is sort of imperative that they do keep giving us those good prices. If the worst comes to the worst, we can sell to other places, but you get about £2,000 less, certainly for the beams. So not ideal, but still doable. I have to make sure we get some more fertiliser onto the grassland in the spring. But for now we are very much so going into winter. We do have our new seed drill, but it is actually a seed drill which is too powerful, it requires too much power I should say, for any of our tractors. This tractor, although is completely the wrong tractor for it, can pull it. Not very fast, but it can pull it. I'm just hoping that by the time we get to drilling again, we will have bought a new bigger tractor. Well, it'll probably be used, new to us. Just something bigger, I hope. But if we if we haven't, then it's not the end of the world. This tractor will do it. It's just it's really, really not very good for it. And it does not appreciate it, that's for sure. I just really hope the water buffalo are okay. Of course, their productivity at this stage doesn't matter. They're only babies, they're not reproducing, they're not producing milk. So, yeah, they just need to be healthy, that's all. They just need to stay healthy and alive. For now, we'll put this over here. Now, before we move on to December, I do need to do a few things. I've actually just checked the greenhouses to cut that out of the video, because I do check that quite a lot. But the greenhouses are fine. Um, the only thing is, we're now spawning chilies, the, the chilli peppers, the garlic, the spring onions and not the cabbage yeah the cabbage is staying in there but we're spawning these things because we're going to sell them in one massive load in january yes it's going to be a big loading up session that's for sure this is just the chili peppers that we can see there is still so much more to spawn uh so yeah a lot of money this this greenhouse has produced which we're going to see the reward of in january that's when everything peaks I do need to do this straw bars, but also I need to check up on Dave to make sure Dave does not need to be cleaned or uh, we might need to ride him as well. I'll have to check that. But I'm pretty sure actually he has been looked after this month, so he might be okay. Yes, yes, per perfect. Riding is 100%, cleanliness is 100%. So we don't need to do anything else with Dave this month, which gives me time to sort out the straw bales. So if I just grab my pallet fork again, we will get that trailer unloaded and then I think we're going to need this trailer in the next episode to transport not only our wooden products but also all of our chilli peppers, garlic and spring onions. I'm expecting a lot, more than what the truck will take. So <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to go big with this one. Oops. Yeah. It's going to be interesting, and you never know, it might just be such a massive amount of money that we can go for one of our next goals. I'm not expecting £200,000, <laughs> uh, so no, I wouldn't be expecting the cow enclosure for the water buffalo. But we might be a big step towards the next tractor, or another piece of land. Another piece of land does make a lot of sense. but. The, the piece of land which I'm really targeting, the one behind this greenhouse, it's that is over £200,000 as well. So, not really too hopeful for that. <laughs> not yet, anyway. But either way, it will be more money and it will be helpful.
I would really like to use the Macdon swather as well. Um, I think probably I'm going to drill crops in the following year after this next harvest for that. We're not really ready just yet, but we are going to use it, definitely. Uh, we might just do wheat. Wheat and barley, that sort of thing. But you can swath many different crop types, and you can also do the grass, of course. So it would be handy for that. But I think we've probably done enough with the bales for this episode. Uh, next time, as I said, we are going to be hopefully making a lot of money from all of these different products. I had to crash into them. Not to worry. <laughs> They're absolutely fine. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be good. And also, there should be some more kimchi spawning soon. Hopefully. But yeah, that's all to come. We'll load this trailer up next time. And we'll make, hopefully, a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.